What is good, everybody? Today we are back with brand new AEW action figure news. Yes, we had news yesterday for AEW, and now today we have even more action figure news, and today it's even bigger. We do have an all-in fan fest that is taking place in London right now, and so they did do a figure display. I didn't expect it, but they do have a figure display going on. It's a little fan fest deal there where they put the figures out on display. We talk about them. We do all those different things, man. So all of that is available to us today, and it should be fun, man. Let's dive in. We're going to take a look at AEW All-In London. London. Take a look at the figures that they have on display. Some brand new exclusives, all kinds of crazy stuff. So let's shut the hell up. Let's get into it and break it all down. So the first figure that I want to get into right here, man, is going to be the Ringside Collectibles exclusive Sting the Ripper action figure right here. Now, I have a bunch of mixed feelings on this. We're going to dive into it here, but let's take a look at the packaging. Let's look into it. You guys know as well as I do, AEW and Jazzwares really nails the packaging. I really like this packaging. You have the nice image here of Sting on the front of the packaging. I like the Sting font going around. You open up the Velcro, you see the Sting figure underneath there. It's got the scorpions on it. It looks pretty good there and everything like that. You even have the Sting the Ripper imagery on it as well. AEW logo is looking pretty good. I like it. But the figure itself, man, how do I feel about the figure itself? I just don't know, man. I do not know. I'm not a big fan of this for obvious reasons. Now, I mean, exclusively what you're paying for, you're getting this Jack the Ripper coat, this Jack the Ripper hat, and some new head sculpts repainted, and that is basically it. But everything else from the neck down is the same sting mold we have seen so many times. It is crazy. We have seen this long sleeve shirt and pants. Now, I understand, you know, maybe that was what Sting was wearing, and maybe all these different things. But Jesus, man, how many times can we get the exact same thing over and over and over? And but I guess like there's there's two sides of the coin right there's two it's a double edged sword because there's different ways of looking at it you know they give us John Cena all over again they give us Kenny Omega over and over again they give us these same guys over and over again but they're repainted and it's like oh well what's the difference there actually is a big difference okay because this is always the same black shirt the same black pants it's all one flat color you're just getting a repainted head sculpt most of the time and it's all just black and white you know you're not it's not like you have like five or six colors going on or some iridescence or some shine or some different things going on with this figure. It is essentially a black and white shirt with black pants, black boots, black gloves, and then you're getting a different head sculpt. And so I think that it's definitely different and so I would say that, you know, the, the thing that's going to sell these figures is going to be the cape. It's going to be the packaging. I do like this figure in certain ways. I like the Jack the Ripper-ish going on. You know, it reminds me of the Elite 70 Finn Balor, you know, the Jack the Ripper Finn Balor. But I don't know, man. I just am so tired of seeing this same mold. Now, again, the entrance garb and the head sculpts are okay. I, I really don't even, I don't know, I don't really like the head sculpt. Like the, you know, the smiling sort of, you know, similar to a joke face, right? It, it, it kind of has that Joker sting sort of vibe to it, but I am just not the biggest fan of this figure. I, I for one, am not that hype for this figure, but you can let me know what you think down below. I just I, I just think this is an odd choice. I, I would have completely avoided this, but maybe they didn't really have an opportunity there. But let's get into another ringside exclusive that is, uh, I think these are up for pre-order as well. I think the Sting's up for pre-order. We're going to talk about some other figures up for pre-order. But we have this other ringside exclusive, which is going to be ringside exclusive, the Alpha Takeshita. And this looks very cool. I am excited for this. You can see the packaging there. Love this packaging. I think it looks so off the, I don't know what it is about this packaging packaging for sure, but I like the way Takeshita looks on the packaging there. I love the fonts and the way that the packaging is designed. You have this sleeve that you can pull off. You reveal the Takeshita figure underneath there. It says Unyielding Spirit, Unstoppable Force. You have nice lettering going on. This looks very good. I, I love this Takeshita. This is fire, and I remember, I, I remember telling you guys when we saw some AEW figure reveals at San Diego Comic-Con, I remember saying, you know, everybody was pissed off that, you know, Takeshita was the chase, and I told you that they did say that a ringside exclusive was, or they kind of teased that a ringside exclusive Takeshita was coming, and boom, there you go. So you, you are going to get the robe in there, and not only did we have render shots of the packaging and the figure itself, but they also showed off actual images of the figure on display at all in right here at Fan Fest right there. And the jacket looks amazing. I love the jacket. Jacket looks great. I like that he comes with a pissed off head sculpt and a screaming head sculpt or, you know, a straight face and a, and a yelling head sculpt, which I think is really awesome. But this jacket looks great. I really like the gear. This gear looks much better than the chase as well. So I'm excited for this. I, I'm a big fan of Takeshka. He can go in the ring. I think this is great. Uh, you know, a lot, a lot of people are going to want him in their collection. So I think this, this figure is head and shoulders above the Sting figure. And I'm, I'm the biggest Sting guy you'll find. I love Sting. I adore Sting, but 
this is one of those that I think the Takesh does make it more noise for me personally. You can let me know. I want to know your thoughts on the on the Sting figure for sure because I think that it is a nice little discussion that can be had there. But the Takesh figure is up for pre-order as well as the Sting on Ringside Collectibles. Now also something that's up for pre-order on Ringside Collectibles is going to be AEW Unmatched Series 11. Now this Unmatched Series 11 is going to feature Brian Danielson. You have Will Ospreay, Darby Allen. We have Sky Blue. We have Jay White. And we do have our Sting figure which we did see renders of these at San Diego Comic-Con. If you guys want to grab those, you can go over there, pre-order them, all those different things, but we do have more figure reveals. I just want to put that up. If you guys are interested in getting these pre-orders in, AEW Unmatched Series 11 is up right now, and you can go grab those, but let's get into some more figures that were on display at All In Fan Fest, man. Let's get into it. We also had the guns on display, which looked pretty good, all their tattoos and everything. This gear looks so damn good, man. It I, I've been calling it, it's not a Statue of Liberty gear, but it reminds me of the Statue of Liberty. That, like, light mintish green. It reminds me of money. It reminds me of the Statue of Liberty for whatever reason. I don't know. You can let me know what you think there. But I think both of these look pretty good for the most part. I think that the, I love the sleeve that we have going on as well. The headband looks immaculate. Got a bit of a Stax Lorenzo Dolph Ziggler head sculpt going on. But I like both of these figures. I like the boots. You got the Cody boots rocking, and then you actually have the standard boots rocking. So that's pretty good that they paid attention to detail right there. One thing that's interesting too is if you look in this one image, you can see the the new Luchasaurus over there. I think that is a new, is that the new Luchasaurus or is that is that the two-pack Luchasaurus? I can't tell off the, off the cuff right there, but very excited for the guns. I think they look really, really good. I think they're going to be very poseable as well, which is always a bonus for me. And I like their torso choice. I like the formula choices on these guys. They look really good and I love the sleeve as well. Just some really good deco on these guys. These look, these look like just great action figures in general. General, they have tats. This is a good base for for an MDT figure potentially. So this looks pretty good here. I like these. Got your zebra print in there. Yeah, we're looking fire right here. We're looking fire. Now this figure coming up, man. This is probably my favorite reveal that we saw. This is the Shop AEW exclusive Will Ospreay All In exclusive. You guys remember last time the Jamie Hater went up for order. Well, the Will Ospreay is the newest one here, and we still don't even have that Jamie Hater in hand. I don't. I'm not. I can't remember off the top of the dome if people have actually received their Jamie Hater. I never received mine, but we do have Will. Osprey right here. This figure looks so damn good, man. So damn good. And I, the head sculpt, this is probably a prototype. I'll, I'll be honest. This looks like a prototype to me. Like It looks like it's hand painted and everything. But the gear here, look at how detailed the gear is. Look at the gold belt, the red and blue and white. The coat on this is absolutely insane. You have the faux fur in there. You got the jacket. It looks amazing. You even have the flag on the back coming down. This is definitely my favorite reveal. And you guys know we have a Will Ospreay Supreme coming soon. We have other Ospreys that are coming soon. We have one that's going to be an Unmatched Series 11. So they're definitely going to be pumping out the Will Ospreay figures. But he looks like he is going to be so poseable and feels so good in hand. I cannot wait for the Supreme figure. But this right here looks so damn good. This gear is immaculate. I am very excited for this figure. This is definitely but head and shoulders above the rest of the reveals in my opinion. I think this is such a good figure, but I did pre-order two of these. I'm going to keep one on ice, and I am going to open one of them, of course, in a review. We're going to talk about it and look at it. This Will Ospreay figure, though, looks like it could be figure of the year outside of the Supreme, but I don't know if that Supreme's even going to hit in 2024, maybe a 2025 figure, but the Will Ospreay did look really damn good, so I think this looks awesome. But then we're moving on to Edge. We did see Edge. We talked about him yesterday. He looks really good on display right here, though. I think those images didn't do it justice. I think this looks even cleaner than it did in the images. I think this natural lighting, the way this looks looks very damn good they did a good job here on this edge figure i don't want to spend too much time on it but i did want to talk about it since we actually got a full image of the figure in real life and then we also have black machismo with the jay lethal figure right here which looks so good he's got the cloth pants cloth jacket a very cool figure indeed hopefully these head sculpts are going to turn out great hopefully everything looks good but i like the details here represented i think it looks really nice like the way the boots look underneath. This could be a really cool release. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I know we only have, we, we saw it at San Diego Comic Con. We saw it here on display. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a difficult thing to address right now because we don't know exactly what it's going to look like in with everything underneath and, you know, the accessories and all those things. But you have to say that it looks good right here on display. So I, I think this looks really, really good. Excited for this figure. This popped me hard when I saw it at San Diego Comic Con. One of my favorite things I got to see. Like I was like, oh, because it shocked me by surprise. I did not expect it going in. So that's always really fun. But next up, we also have the ringside exclusive Jay White. Now, I have a lot of feelings about this Jay White. I think from the neck down, it looks amazing. I love the red leather jacket. I love the gear. I like the boots. I like everything about the switchblade. The head sculpt, man. Not 
feeling this head sculpt whatsoever. I think it looks very weird here. I, I do not know what's going on there. And you can kind of have a better shot of that Luchasaurus that I was talking about. Is that the two-pack one? I guess it is the two-pack one. It just looks, I don't know, it looks weird. Like, I don't know, the paint apps look different here. Maybe it's just the lighting, but this Jay White head sculpt looks weird. I don't know. I, I don't really like it. And it looks like it's super oversized, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. But I like the way the Jay White looks. I just hope that you know, his head's not super duper oversized. You know what I mean? I hope that everything turns out and checks out. I do like the way that the gear and the jacket look. A very cool Jay White. Excited to get him in the collection finally. You know, never really had a, an official really good looking Jay White figure in our collection. So this should be fun here. And then we do have a ringside exclusive look at the Orange Cassidy, which I, do, I don't know how to feel about this one, man. I do like the white jacket and I love Orange Cassidy. I think he's a fantastic talent, but I do not know how to feel about this. It is kind of the paper drawing exclusive which is cool in a certain way but I don't know you do have the international championship there it's it's definitely a moment in time it's definitely one of those things where you can skip it if you don't want it big orange fans are gonna grab it I'll probably grab one of them but I'll probably just keep it mint on card I don't think I will be getting two of those I, I guess it depends man I don't know if you guys want to see a review of it maybe we'll see but I don't see a lot of people lining up to get this one just because we have seen you know we had the series three with the with the pants and the hands in the pockets you had the series eight with the hands in the pockets we do have a new orange coming that's not like this you know without the pocket feature but i don't know man this one's probably a tough sell we also had a look at unrivaled 16 julia hart on display and this figure was at comic-con as well but it was kind of tucked away kind of hidden here i do like that on this display we actually get to see what the full figures look like and she looks good i like the likeness i like the cloth goods a pretty cool figure going on i don't like that it breaks up the stomach in the middle of the waist there but i don't really know how else you could do it but their women's figures are always really good so I'm excited to see how this feels in hand and how she poses around but it looks pretty good for a Julia Hart I, I'm excited for the figure here hopefully she's she's easy to track down because I'm pretty sure she's the chase figure if I'm not mistaken so hopefully I'll have an Alex Reynolds situation on my hand where I can actually find this guy or gal at retail here but Julia Hart is looking pretty good here we also had a look at Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega's looking good here. I Again, he I, we've seen Kenny Omega so many times, but I'm such a big Kenny Omega fan. Doesn't matter how many they make. I, the formula's good. The paint apps look good. It'll pose around fantastic. That's all that matters here, and it, it looks really good. So I'm excited for the Kenny Omega, obviously. And then we got our Timeless Tony Storm AEW Ringside Exclusive, which is going to be in the black and white, which I think is genius. This is a really cool figure here. Love the entrance garb. Love the championship. I like the black and white touches here. Very genius. Very genius. I think this makes a lot sense. A lot more sense than the than the Orange Cassidy. And the Orange Cassidy, while it does make sense it's in, in its own right, this is like her entire thing and gimmick here. So I think that this one is a little bit better executed, you know. I think it's going to be a little bit more sought after, obviously, for those reasons. I think that Timeless Tony Storm looks good. And she killed the... She killed the promos going for this figure. She absolutely nailed selling of it and everything like that. And she was like, the way she was talking about the figure in the commercial that they did for this was fantastic. So I'm looking forward to the time, Timeless Tony Storm. I think they did a really good job here on this one. But at the end of the day, I think that is every single figure that they showed off. I think that Will Ospreay also showed up at FanFest and he was talking about everything and showing up. So that's really cool. I, I think that overall, the Will Ospreay definitely won the day. That Shop AEW one or whatever the hell you want to say. Or is it, it's not really, I guess it's Shop AEW exclusive, but it's just an event exclusive, I guess you could say. I don't know if you can actually buy these at the event or not. It would be, it would shock me if you could, because I know that, I don't think you could buy the Jamie Hayter in person, or maybe you could. I, I can't even remember off the top of the dome, man, to be honest with you, so we'll have to see about all those different things, but at the end of the day, I think that is going to wrap up the AEW All-In Fan Fest figure reveals and news. I wanted to get on here and make a video about this, obviously, because they were posting about it this morning, so I wanted to get this up as soon as possible, but I'd like to know what you think of all these figures, man. What do you think of all these new action figures that we're getting here today? Favorite reveals easily Will Ospreay, but what the hell do I know, Brad? I want you to let me know what you think down in the comment section below about all these things. But that's going to wrap up the video, man. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Huge shout out to our Patreon members, man. Appreciate those fellas so much. I also apologize if my voice is gone. Had to coach a football game last night, so I am a bit, you know, my voice is a bit rough there. But now I'm up watching college game day. Seamus is on as the special guest, so it all works out, man. Looking forward to some football today. Looking forward to some football next week as well. But I'm getting the hell out, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Appreciate every single one of you guys. Love you. Peace out. See you next time.